In fact, if you get a zero, there's pretty much no way you can get a gold or silver medal on this, so... I mean, you really, really, really have to get a good score on that one. If you want to have any chance of actually, you know, getting a gold badge. Okay, so this one... This one has a lot of wind, if you couldn't tell by the snow alone. And it's also on a very... Eh, I wouldn't say it's a very bad location, but a very awkward location at the very top of a mountain. Is that the same mountain we blasted to earlier? I don't know. Okay, so let's aim a little bit above, and then over here a little bit. Again, the wind doesn't really affect characters like Hawk or Robin very much, so that's why I'm not really adjusting for that very much. As you can see, yeah, that was pretty close. So I can, yeah, like, like right there. Okay, just up a little bit, and I should be okay. You can actually see some of the characters flying around in, like, hang gliders or gyrocopters or something. But hooray, another bullseye! I could still technically get a bronze medal here, but this is going to be a gold medal playthrough, so that's hardly irrelevant. Or hardly relevant. It is irrelevant. Okay, this is definitely the hardest cannon in the entire game. Because it's obviously over this hill, but it's not like right over the hill. It's actually over the hill and over here a little bit, so... Yeah, this is a very, very, very difficult cannon point to hit. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm actually going to aim straight at it, but go all the way up as far as I can go. And this, you know, just do full power and then adjust the power based on how far I go. That should be the best way of me actually even, even even accomplishing this. And that was actually pretty good. If anything, I actually came up short a little bit, so... I'm gonna have to adjust the angle a little bit. That was a pretty good strategy, though, I have to say. Okay, so I'm about at 60 right now, so let's take it down to 50. Actually, no, let's go to 55, actually. I remember when I originally did this, I had to aim it up pretty far, so... I'm not really sure how far, though. That's kind of the problem here. Okay, yeah, that's actually really good. Wow. I'm actually kind of surprised. I could probably aim it at, like... 6, or no, 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 50, and get pretty close. Um, let's move it over a little bit. I'm not going to go all the way to 50, just like right, right about right here. Let's see how close I get. If not, I'll have to, you know, re-show me doing mission 2 and 4 again, but that shouldn't be a problem. Okay, I got the exact, well, maybe not the exact, but I had the right idea, I just need to move over to the left a little bit, so... Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys back at, I guess, Target 2. So I can at least, you know, show myself getting a good score there. And then I'll see you guys back at this Target test, so, yeah. See you guys there! Hopefully I can actually get a gold medal. Okay, here we are at Target 2 again, where... I seem to have a very, very easy time with failing. Okay, so, let's see. It's right here. And I can't hit it very far. Well, that's actually pretty good. It's not going to be give me a very good score or anything, but hey. It's a lot better than what I have been doing. Okay, so let's move it up just a little bit. And try this again. Oh, wow, wow, yes, yes, right there, right in the middle. Sorry for that, I got a little too excited, as if you couldn't tell. Okay, third shot. Um, who cares? He's not even going to make it off the mountain. Okay, yeah, um, there's a perfect score for the second target. And I'll see you guys at the final target, and hopefully I can get a good score there as well. Okay, here we are, the final target. I just need a 15 to get a gold badge. That's all I need. A perfect would be incredible, but I really don't need a perfect. Okay, so 
I believe we decided that about right over 50 is where we need to be. And this is actually my third attempt at this test. I did actually have a second one that didn't go over so well, and this is about where I, you know, used two, and I got very, very, very close to the center, so. About right there. Now I need to determine the ver horizontal distance. Which is actually pretty challenging to do. And I guess I'll just try this out. See how this treats me. You can also uh, press the R button while you're doing this to see a sort of a different view while you're doing this. And yeah, it's not going to make it, but that, that was pretty close. Okay, I have to go over left a little bit. Okay, that should do it. I'm hoping. Okay. Here we go, attempt number two. I just need a 15, that's all I need. I just need a 15. A 15 will be fine. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, just a little bit to the right. Just a little bit. Okay, come on. 15. 15. That's all I need. Two more points than my last one. That's all. Nothing more. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Probably not perfect. Oh, come on. Come on. Yes. 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 Woo! 19. All right. Okay, there we go, a gold medal on all three cannonball levels. And when we do that, we actually unlock the Everfrost Peak. I think that's the name of the level, I don't remember. But you unlock the Birdman stage for the Everfrost level, the Snow World, so uh, that is how you unlock that. And I guess next we have to do the skydiving missions, and to be honest, I don't really like the skydiving missions. I mean, at least the cannon missions are fun. This isn't really that fun. And yeah, for these missions, I prefer the uh, middleweight characters. Okay, skydive one. Complete as many formations as possible, then land the landing point. Uh, you get about 50 points for the formation, and then of course the landing accuracy and impact points. That's right, those things are back again. Uh, control. Um, wow, there's actually quite a few controls. Um, yeah, basically the control stick kind of moves around. B button opens the chute. The A button is the flare, which is, you know, kind of used as a brake. And then you can switch viewpoint, change the camera angle, and yeah, that kind of stuff. Okay, let's actually read a hint. Each completed formation is worth 10 points. There are a total of 5 formations. Don't flare too much when landing. Okay. So yeah, avoid using the flare while you're landing. Okay, so this is what you basically have to do. Um, the first part, you have to make these formations, where you have, basically have to fall into the uh, yellow character outline that you see in front of you. And yeah, you just have to make the different formations, which is really not that hard to do. Unless you, you know, do something stupid like that. And they're pretty generous with where you are in the formation. You could be, like, kind of diagonal a little bit and you can still make it work. And then, yeah, that's basically all you do. Just make the formations. At around, I think, 1,100 miles above sea level. Or not miles, meters. I, I keep making that mistake. I know it's meters, too. You heard me say meters in one of my videos. I just said miles in another one. But yeah, you basically have to make all the formations before that um, elevation. And if you do, you should be okay for the rest of the mission. Okay, so let's get lined up. And there we go. Now we actually have the landing. So you can kind of nosedive for a little ways. And then yes, it'll tell you to press B to open your chute, which I will do in a second. Let me, you know, go down a little farther. And yeah, I guess I'll just open the chute right here. And from this point on, you basically just, you know, fall to the target. So you can kind of, you know, go out of ways and then kind of, you know, make your ways towards the target. And then when you get closer to the target, you're going to want to kind of, you know, go and 
small little circles so you can adjust yourself to land right in the middle. This is actually pretty, pretty difficult, I have to admit. Uh, mostly just the landing, though. Thankfully, these missions are pretty short, so, like, if you fail, it's not like you have to do, you know, three cannon targets over again. Okay, so... Yeah, at about... Yeah, this elevation, I should probably start heading back. Okay, this would actually be pretty good. Ah, damn it. That wasn't that good, actually. And I actually used the flare a little bit, too. Okay, yeah, 78. That really wasn't that good. Okay, so... I'm gonna go ahead and try this mission again. I'm only gonna... I'm gonna cut out the formation stuff. I'll just show you the landing. Okay, let's try this again. For hopefully the last time. I really hope so, anyways. Okay, so... I went out a little farther ways. And maybe, hopefully, that was enough. Gonna wanna start turning towards the target when I get to about 100. Like, right here. Oh, no. Okay, yeah, like, right about here. Okay, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Okay, there. That should actually be... A gold badge, at least. I mean, come on, you gotta give me a little break here. Okay, yeah, good, finally. 90 points exactly, just what I wanted. Okay, that's a gold badge. Now, let's move on to the next one. That's right, we have to do this again. I'll use Goose this time, because, as I said earlier, Goose is one of my favorite characters. I just want to make sure, you know, I use the other characters, at least, you know, to a certain extent. Okay, so for the skydiving second mission, pretty much the same thing. Gotta make sure you do the formations and stuff. I also like how if you're a male character, uh, the three girl characters join you, and if you're a girl character, the four male characters join you. Kind of a nice touch, I guess. Come on. Okay, why isn't it activating? I'm right in the formation here. What, what am I not doing right? Okay, come on. What am I not getting right? Okay, there, finally. I'm definitely not going to get perfect now because... Stupid idiots messed up the formation. Well, no, I guess I messed up the formation, but still. I couldn't exactly tell where they were. Actually, now I might still be able to do this. I just have to be very quick about it. Okay, come on, come on. Just one more. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, damn it. No, 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 no. Yes! Oh, my gosh! I literally got that at a split second <laughs> when I needed to. Holy crap. Oh, man. I got really, really lucky on that, I have to admit. Okay. Now, let's actually do the landing. As we know, the landing is the hardest part. Landing is the hardest part. That might be the first time I've actually sang in this Let's Play. I sing in all my other Let's Plays, and that was the first time I actually sang in this one. Okay. Okay, let's go this way a little bit. Uh, not sure what to make of this landing. I'm guessing this landing's a little more above ground than the other one was, so... I have to kind of be careful right here. Um... Oh, that should be okay, actually. Land, land, land! Uh, I don't know. That might be, like, one point off. It better be not be just one point off. Okay, for some reason it was 10 points off. 